Hey no fluffians, welcome to step one of the Salesforce app exchange process. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about how to set up your environments. We talked about signing up to the part for the partner portal. And with that sign up, you got a partner business org, a special Salesforce organization. And I'm going to introduce that to you right now. And then we're going to talk about setting up different environments, test environments, um, development environments. We're talking about the environment hub today. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording my screen. Okay, so you may not know it right now, but we are actually inside of my partner business org. Um, there are a few things that are different in this app, and I want to show you those. We're not going to go through them right now. I'm going to save that all for step six, um, which is publishing and beyond. But in this org, you get special apps, and those include the license management app, the partner order app, the checkout management app, and a lot of these apps that you use. It depends on your solution, you know, if or how you've implemented pricing, how you're doing licensing things like that. And another app that comes built in with these orgs is the Environment Hub. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. <clears throat> so right here, you can see two orgs I have. Um, I have my Data Generator app, which if you haven't heard about that, um, I should have another video for that showing you exactly what that is. Um, basically, it creates dummy data. This is a test org for that app. And I have a, a dev organization for Product Love, which is the product we're going to be building in this course. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create an org and then how to enable single sign-on for that. So funnily enough, there's a button up here in the upper right-hand corner that says Create Org. I'm going to click that. Clickety click, click, click. Okay, so it asks you how you're going to use this org. Development, demo, trial for source organization. This is for... Um, after you have your listing, we'll, we'll talk about that when it comes to, you know, providing options for your, your potential clients, your, the viewers of your listing to see your app, to interact with it without actually installing it. Um, and these should make sense. You know, this is where you're going to be building in your development orgs and then test demo environments for testing and demoing the... <laughs> Okay, test demo, oh, Slack, whoops, stop it. Okay. So we chose test demo. We're gonna choose standard edition. Okay, so you have some options here. Um, anything that says partner in front of it is because you are a partner or you're, you know, you send it for the partner portal. So these are, you know, enterprise professional group orgs, but they have typically increased functionality, meaning more space, more, you know, whatever, whatever you need, they give you more processing power. So for my, I'm going to make a test org for product love and I'm going to make it partner enterprise because I want I want potentially an org that can have a lot of different records and enterprise is big and partner will give me more resources to do that org name product love test if I can spell test uh, I don't, don't need a domain I'll put my name in there my emails right there a username we'll just call we'll say test at product love dot dev and I have I've read it wink wink okay it's being created I'm gonna stop this video and jump back in when it's ready hey there I am back um I really wanted to show you single sign-on and I'm gonna explain how to do that, but unfortunately I will not be able to do that at this time. So you should be able to see my screen right now. Um, you can see that they sent me an email saying my org was generated. I can now see product love test here. 
when I got an email, it was something like this, you know, thanks for signing up, verify your account, you know, typical um, login process, you're just going to click that button, enter your passwords, and you'll be set to log in. You'll want to remember that password unless you're able to do single sign on. Um, I wasn't able to find anything in the documentation about not being able to do single sign on, but I imagine it's only for partners that have gone through security review. You know, you, just because you sign up for the partner portal does not make you a, a contracted partner. Um, so unfortunately, you know, typically I can click log in here and it will log me into that org automatically. Unfortunately, that's not the case. So if I click on product love test here, if I can do single sign on, there'll be a button right here that says enable SSO. You click that and then you click this drop down right here. All you'll do is enter in the user that you want to log in as and the user in your partner business org that you want to be able to log in as that person. So I just choose, you know, my, my user right here to log in as test at productlove.dev. So unfortunately that's not working. So I'm going to have to remember a password. Good luck to me. That's basically it though. That's how you create orgs for testing, for demoing, for developing. And you'll for sure want to create a development org before the next step because we're going to jump into development. <laughs> development. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment, and as always, stay not fluffy.